what's up guys? Uh, second game here in uh, February 8th. Uh, February 9th, NBA Game Day Edition. This is your Passer Baller. Um, I'm inviting everyone who have not subscribed uh, yet to our YouTube channel or YouTube account, Passive Baller, to please hit on the subscribe button below and also include that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever we have a new video up. Right, we're, we are now on the second game. This is New York Knicks versus Miami Heat. This is their second encounter. Uh, these two teams uh, went, uh, uh, went head to head a couple of nights back. And uh, Miami Heat took care of New York, 109-103. So let's see what's going to happen tonight. Uh, let's take a look at uh, their record. Uh, both teams, of course, belong to the Eastern Conference. Um, let's start with the New York Knicks. They are number 9 with 11 wins and 14 losses. While for Miami Heat, uh, they are 9 wins and 14 losses at number 12. And Miami Heat is actually enjoying back-to-back -back wins. Okay, so the details of this game, uh, this one would be played at Miami, um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 8.30 Manila. Um, obviously, Miami would be enjoying the home court advantage. I don't think there would be any edges in terms of, uh, what you call this, uh, fatigue factor. Uh, both teams um, had rest uh, yesterday in um, uh, the, their game, uh, the last game of these two. Uh, was a couple of nights back because again, this is their second game. That was the first game that they had Miami minus seven New York plus seven. So let's see what we have here um, Let's take a look at uh, the injury list for Miami Heat Well, Leonard is just, We all know Leonard is out season-ending procedure Avery Badley still also out um, Goran Dragic uh, He is ruled out of this game Maurice Hartless he is also ruled out. Chris Silva, he is also ruled out. Uh, while uh, the only player left as uh, listed as probable or has a chance of playing on this one would be Gabe Vincent. So, man, uh, five players are already ruled out for Miami. And then there's one which has the probability of playing. And again, that's Gabe Vincent, one of their guards. For the New York Knicks, um, Nerlens Noel is uh, listed as questionable for this game. Um, he ain't ruled out yet, but, you know, there's just um, low chances of him suiting up for this game. While well, Derrick Rose, uh, the newly acquired Derrick Rose um, from that trade with Dennis Smith, um, is listed as day-to-day. Uh, -day. So we're not sure whether he would be playing or not. Okay, so what's my take on this? Um, we can see that, number one, uh, Miami Heat has a lot of players who are still out. Now, a lot of people would say that, hey, you know what, but those players were also out the last time out, right? That is correct. Most of those players, if not all, didn't play the last time, uh, the last game as well. But if you if you could remember, that game was actually close, you know? I know the, I know the final score um, shows six-point lead by Miami Heat, but it was uh, closer than what it, you know, than what... The final, uh, than what the final score suggests. Um, plus the fact that Derrick Rose could play, although it's not yet, you know, we're not yet sure about that. Um, there is this possibility that an, an additional player would uh, be able to help New York in terms of scoring and in terms of doing the point guard chores. Um, Dennis Smith, to be quite honest, you know, he didn't spend a lot of time for. New York this season and um, I just want to wish him well as he you know as he spends his career in Detroit my take on this I'm gonna go with New York plus seven uh, just to give my ex just to give my uh, explanation and reasoning on this one um, again look at the first game man it was close it was just a six point uh, lead by Miami Heat um, New York Knicks could have you know could have gotten that game maybe uh, maybe if not for like two or three turnovers that they had or misses that they had, New York could have won that game. So I don't really understand why um, the spread was actually given like this. It just even like went up. So New York plus seven now. Um, I thought that there would be some, you know, some uh, players who would not be playing for New York. But 
it's basically the same thing. Nerland's Noel was also less less questionable. So and and normally, um, if if you would um, if if you are a New York um, a New York fan, like me, New York um, is able to make necessary suggestions, and that's you know that's what Tom Thibodeau could do. Um, whenever they lose the first game, you know, and they would go up against the same team, maybe a day or two after, um, necessary suggestions can be seen and can be seen right away. Um, the best example for this one was the uh, last lo- last win that they had, and that was against the Chicago Bulls, right? Um, so the, um, they lost the first game, and then uh, um, two days, I mean two nights after, they went up against Chicago Bulls, and New York Knicks took care of the Chicago Bulls easily. Um, you know what? I think that wasn't their last win. Um, let me take a look. Because the uh, New York Knicks had uh, back-to-back wins. Sorry about that. Um, but that was the first of those two wins. Um, the other win that I'm talking about was... Yeah, sorry about that. Um, just checking on something here. Yeah, Portland. So they defeated Portland uh, after they defeated Chicago Bulls. And tell you what. They also defeated Portland after losing to Portland, um, you know, a couple of weeks back. So again, Tom Thibodeau is a is a coach who knows how to adjust well. So I'm expecting that. Um, uh, although of course we can't guarantee a win, so let's just take the plus. New York Knicks plus seven. For those who got Facebook accounts, we also have a Facebook page, Passive Baller. Please click on the button in the upper right hand. Um, it will bring you automatically to that page. Just follow and like that one. And you can also send us messages or questions through our messenger account. Peace out. Pase love. God bless.